going back home now I've just come back from shopping at Lidl's I have to say I didn't expect to spend as much money as I did I've spent more than I thought I was going to um, but that's cool because that means I can also show you guys what I've got I'm also planning this whole like autumn thing I want to make an apple pie and I also I think tomorrow I want to make some apple cider which is going to be really cute but I'm going to show you guys what I got now I have changed my clothes now this t-shirt from ASOS and I have some leggings under it that I've cut short um, just for comfort I used to wear it a lot under my skirts but I actually wore it under my other pair of leggings so I could be a bit warmer but anyway blah 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 leggings so I'm gonna show you guys what I got I'm gonna try to organize it first of all like cold with cold savory with savory meat with meat even though I only got like anyway I'll show it to you when you see it and my hands are very clicky because I snap them a lot I realize I do that when I do that <laughs> anyway so I'll see you in a minute before I start packing everything out I'm gonna show you guys what I came home to my boyfriend made this really good hot dog I'm gonna warm it up a little bit because it's cold and then I'm gonna do that have a drink and then get the shopping together I don't have anything that's frozen so that would allow me to I can just pretty much put everything out once I finish eating I never used to like mustard before but we went to Amsterdam and I tried it and it was great and ever since I've liked it so also I think the mustard we have is from Germany or, or the Netherlands I'm not sure but the hot dog is so good <laughs> the sausage also is from where is it from the sausage man the sausage man I think it's hot what is it German sausages yeah German sausages sausage man you can get like array of different sausages if you're really into like meat obviously if you eat meat and it's a good deal they have like deals and things like that so we went on a, like a sausage rampage and got like 60 altogether oh yes <laughs> I didn't say that and didn't realize how bad it was but 60 altogether and we went through them them sausages like we ran a train on them sausages like we ate all of them so the last one left and I'm gonna enjoy him tastes so damn good ketchup what is it curry ketchup and um mustard mm. lasted us four months 60 hot dogs <laughs> not like we went crazy mm. see you in a bit okay so now i'm going to show you guys what i got from Lidl's it's not a huge amount of stuff i didn't think it was that much I'll show you guys what i have and by that much oh i didn't buy that much stuff but i'm gonna show you anyway and i'm gonna tell you how much it all cost at the end of it all pretty much everything but we haven't got a lot of counter space so i'm gonna show you in order what they are so first off i'm gonna show you that I'm gonna show you the vegetables first. Um, drinks, other bits and bobs, bread, and then colder stuff. So I got myself some apples. They're Oakland's apples. They're cheap. I want them for um, apple cider. So I got some of those. I got some pears as well because I want for me and my partner to, my be and my boyfriend to make an apple and peach pie because it's cute and it's you know it's october and i'm feeling kind of cute and i've been watching a lot of um videos with like everyone getting ready for october and things and it's made me feel in the mood so i went out and got a bunch of orangey stuff and i want to get like pumpkin and things like that to kind of make it cute it's going to be our first time living in our apartment together um on halloween and i kind of want to be a bit extra but anyway so i got apples got pears got some easy peelers um <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i really just wanted them more just for a display in my fruit bowl and those were like i don't know actually how much they were but they're i think maybe about one something they've gone up in price which is fine 
Then I got some red chilies. I'm kind of bummed out that Lidl's don't like mix your chilies. Like you have to either have green or red. But I chose a slightly hotter version of it. Then I got some of these red potatoes. These are my favorite potatoes ever. I don't really mess with the white ones. I love red potatoes. They're just so damn versatile and so delicious. I got some pears as well. Not pears. Some peaches as well. They look really good. Give them a couple of days to soften and they turn really really sweet and amazing i have them in porridge and stuff and i also got some big cloves of garlic i handpicked these instead of just buying the ones in the bag they're really really huge and i'm pretty happy with that actually then i also got some carrots just they're just carrots um i'm gonna make a chicken soup my grandma brought over um some pumpkin that she had grown at our place so I'm just going to make a nice kind of warming soup maybe tomorrow for dinner, for carrots. And I also got some of these fancy tomatoes. Um, we normally just get salad tomatoes, but we've discovered that the slightly more organic versions tend to be a bit better. I've never got these ones before, but I'm hoping they're going to be really sweet and amazing. And last but not least is this baby. I'm so happy when I saw this like I don't even know how much she was but I knew that I had to get her like there were other versions of her in the sh in the shop and I just thought she was beautiful like I'm just gonna put her on display and then like when she's getting old I'm just gonna do something real good with her but isn't she pretty I think this is my favorite thing that I bought except for the wine <laughs> this is like my favorite thing it's so pretty so excited okay so the next thing I got was some mint and ginger tea. Um, uh, my boyfriend has been drinking a lot of this, but making it himself. And I thought, when it, especially the fact that it's getting cold out, it'd be good to have. We have lots of herbal teas. That I didn't need any more, but I think it's just nice to have a lot of teas. And especially now it's getting cold out, I feel like I'm going to drink a lot of herbal tea. So got that. It's quite cheap as well. And you get a good amount in it. I think it's 80 you get in there. Yeah, oh, actually, my bad, 40, but still a good amount. Got some honey because we we're finished, of, like, our honey was running low. There was nothing left. Got some chili flakes. I love chili flakes, especially on, like, avocado and just, like, I just love a bit of heat. But I've discovered it on avocado, and it's really good. Then also I got some raspberry jam, fancy raspberry jam. Uh, my boyfriend and I were talking about it today and he was saying he really loves raspberries and I saw it today and I thought I'm gonna bring this back home for him so I don't know what he's gonna do with that most likely toast or some concoction I also got some um, pure Canadian maple syrup I don't get why maple syrup is so expensive like this says it's from Canada I hope it is um, I love it. I love it on pancakes and stuff and it's very kind of autumn-y and I'm planning to like bake a lot during this time so I'm going to probably use this a lot but it's a bit pricey, not going to lie. Then with that I also got some Demolera um, brown sugar. Just good to always have brown sugar. I'm thinking I probably most likely got that for the pie but girl I don't even remember. I just went crazy. <laughs> I was just buying so much stuff. Then the next thing I got was um, this clouded apple juice and it's not concentrated and I love it. I love the taste of it. It's, it's apple juice. I feel like you love it or you hate it and I love apple juice. And I love the fact that it's not from concentrate because that's kind of shit. Um, then I got some rosé wine. This is like a really good rosé wine that's not that expensive either. And yeah, Zinfandel Rose California wine. Love that. Also got some Molo California. I didn't even realize it's the same brand, but these are really good, especially from Lidl's. It tastes really good. They're a really good idea for gifts and stuff. I like Lidl's wine because they're not too expensive and also it looks kind of fancy depending on like what you're getting. I think that looks quite fancy. Like if someone gave me this, I'd be pretty happy. It's not only just because it's wine. <laughs> so the next thing I also got is... um these um ales i really like them my boyfriend does not drink beer and stuff but i really love beer um so i really like these this is 99p and it's like a what is it a fruity zesty ale 
so if you like ale I'd, I'd recommend you try this and then the next thing I got was this apple cider I am planning to make apple cider and put it like apples in it and things like that and just make it really kind of like festive I'm really excited that it's getting cold um, and I'm deciding to make this cider and I think most likely I'm going to show you guys how I do it for sure then I also got uh, Fabrice because not everyone poops <laughs> I just thought wanted uh, my home to smell really nice and vanilla -y. next thing are these um, chocolates if you go to Lidl's you know these chocolates they're amazing they're cheap and also these were actually 25p so that's why I bought two of them um, this is also to nibble on and if I'm feeling fancy, I like to put like a little bar in my hot chocolate so it can melt. Uh, so I've got that. Then I also have these seeded flatbreads. I used to buy these a lot and eat them a lot in um, when I was at work and stuff. And I bought this to go with something else. So I normally get the white ones, but because I got this white bread i didn't want to get more white bread i don't eat white bread that much it's more of a treat but anyway got that got these mini rolls because my boyfriend is obsessed with them like it's his little favorite little thing that he has on the side so i got those i'm really bummed out i didn't have any brown rolls i feel like every time i go to find brown rolls they only have white which really sucks because i really actually prefer brown bread i think it tastes really damn good but it's all good and then I also got some short crust pastry for our um, apple and pear tart. I got some white seeded bread. And I got a small version of it. Um, these are only really for like... <laughs> um, I'm planning to make a lot of grilled cheeses. And that's the reason why I brought this bread. It's like honestly, I eat so much comforting food when it's cold. I'm just like <laughs> going to store up and wear pajamas all day and eat um and eat like cozy stuff so that's why I bought these it was quite cheap as well and then over to the kind of colder stuff I got these um premier hummus selections to go with this little baby and I like it because they have what do they have I didn't even check they have a basil and olive oil um, hummus and looks pretty cool there. Just take it out, you know. It won't come out, and I don't, I can't bother to do it now. <laughs> it looks like that. And then the next one is a pesto and parmigiano. Um, is this a pesto and parmigiano? No, my bad. That one has pesto and parmigiano of it on it. And then this, the next one is beetroot and mint hummus. And then the last one is red pepper and feta. I'm so excited. I also got carrots as well because I love hummus very, very much and they look quite fancy so I'm happy with that. I got some eggs, big, large, organic eggs or free range eggs. I love eggs here. We always have eggs here. It's just a to go to thing. I love eggs very much. And then last but not least, Chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. I feel like, especially with a stew or a soup, I really love chicken thighs. But I think overall, chicken thighs are my favorite kind of bit of the chicken. Except for the leg, I I think. Because I still enjoy leg. But this is for the chicken soup I'm going to make. I think I'm going to put noodles in it. I'm going to make it real, real damn cute and delicious. And I'm probably going to make that next week. So what I'm going to do is, because it's a lot of it. I probably would need maybe three of these thighs, so the rest will go in a bag and frozen. Same, I think, for these. I think I will actually... We don't have a lot of freezer space, which sucks. Our fridge is really small. Um, but I think what I will do is I may put them in the fridge just to have them last a bit longer. Um, that being said, I have a long way to go anyway. But our apartment is really, really hot, but... I since it's getting a bit colder it's a bit more like bearable in here um so hopefully they should be fine in the cupboard but i feel like i may just put them in the fridge just in case and yeah that was all my 
shopping i have to say it was a little bit expensive i didn't actually expect to spend all that money but i'm still pr pretty happy because obviously i know if i went somewhere else it'd be really dumb more expensive like more more expensive so i'm not gonna be too bummed out about that so yeah i was gonna make soup tonight i'm not gonna do that i'm probably if i get peckish later may have some noodles but i think that's pretty much it um but i'm looking forward to using all of these goodies for sure and also showing you guys what i do with all this kind of food not every single one but i feel like all of them have their their um place to make something really good so yeah
and that's pretty much it guys thanks again for watching if you did like this video please like and subscribe i hope that you guys have a fantastic week and i will see you in my next one see ya